Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com alongside world famous A&P mechanic, <laughs> Russell Loving, uh, bringing you another great 2.3 Mike Zulu update. I'd call it a great 2.3 Mike Zulu update, yep. but yep. what we have to share, and you know uh, at M0A we're never one to hype a video, uh, but this is a must watch because it concerns so oh, much yeah. safety wise. It, it, you're going to realize that the incident that happened in Appleton with the tornado was really a blessing in disguise. Yeah. But let's start with the positive stuff, then we'll get into, we can call it negative, but it really saved yep. lives, oh, yeah. honestly. It's definitely so going to save us as well. Let's, uh, let's start with, uh, with the beginning. Of course, all new glass, Russ. So mm -hmm. uh, kind of work us through this. Why, why all new glass anyways? Uh, well, you know, the, we were getting some crazing. Um, and then we're also, you know, the tint on it is green. Mm -hmm. So we, we decided to go with the clear you mm -hmm. know, for videos and things like that. And plus it looks better. Um, so it's getting we, painted anyway. Yeah, yeah, it's going to get painted. And so, yeah, so we got new glass. Um, if you can tell right there, you know, mm -hmm. we're getting new glare shield. Mm -hmm. And yeah. uh, so, you know, we're just trying to get some of the small things that we already wanted to get done, yeah. get it done. It, it, it just makes sense from that standpoint here. So super. Let's talk uh, a little bit about what we're looking at here now. This is the wing. This, by the way, is the damaged wing, and this is where the blessing in disguise happens for yes. us. What, I'm no A&P expert, what are we seeing here? Well, so, you know, that's the cap um, right off the, where the nose, behind the nose, mm -hmm. and so that's the, the reinforcement mm -hmm. for the, for the um, nose. The problem with this is... When you say, I don't mean to cut you off, when you say nose, you're talking the, the leading edge. The leading edge, yes. Okay, gotcha. The leading edge okay. of the wing, yes. yes. And so what happens is, is because you have the panels, um, the reinforcement, and the skin on pressed top. against on top of each other, you can't see this type of corrosion. And what, so what this, is this? Is, this is pitting, this is corrosion. And so what's happening is, is that because and the moisture and we're, you know, sea salt, we're on, yeah. you know, near, near the ocean, the problem with this is, is that it's just sitting there, and so it's just corroding it. Right, and it looks like they've cleaned this up a little bit too. And yes. there's still you can't get to the pits. No, because pit is a pit. you only allow like maybe 10% right. uh, of taking metal off of a certain area, and so if you get go beyond that, and then it's just not airworthy. You have right. to replace the whole thing. So now this what we're seeing here. This is where remember in the original video, this is where the rivets busted. Yes, right here, and we yeah. were thinking, oh, it was from the impact. It's right. how the wing hit. Yes. But in actuality, it was corrosion. Yes, it's because it hit and it buckled. Yes. However, those rivets probably would have never busted if this pitting, if this corrosion, those all those rivets were corroded out. Is that safe to say? It's safe to say, yes, it is. So that's it, exactly where that happened. Yes, because when, when you look at it, it looks like, okay, but maybe the, you know, the rivets were no good or wasn't put in correctly, what have you. But yeah, this was the way that this hit and it's just, it was a line of them. Mm -hmm. And so we were like, well, you know, what's going on? And of course, when she opened it up, you see that it, there's corrosion between you know three or four different layers of metal um, to uh, for the rivets to come out. Uh, absolutely, and, and that should be a red flag. But here is here is the big thing, and in, in all honesty, again, not hyping anything. This is truly who knows how long away from a possible catastrophic failure. Yeah, we're now looking at the wing root of all places to mm -hmm. have an issue, right closest to the fuselage. Yep. What are, what on earth is this, Russ? Never seen anything like it. So this is called intergranular corrosion, and so basically it's swelling, and it's also like it's eating it's um, from the inside out. Wow! And so it just sits there and it just flakes, and so that's I mean you're finding you don't you can't see that through an inspection because it's as you could tell it's sitting right on top of the cap. Yes. And so when I'm doing an inspection, I open up the inspection panels to get my light out, I get my mirror, and I'm looking, and so unfortunately this is something that's you know, that I've missed, but it's at the same time, it's one of those things that's hard to really see because it's only way that I'm gonna see that is if I take the skin off. Right. So it's just one of those things that it's unfortunate, but you gotta really be diligent as far as looking for things um, when you're on the West Coast or East Coast as far as near an ocean. Yeah. Because it's, it, this type of stuff is something that, you know, A&P, all of us gonna miss. So picture this, again, you're, I think you're being too hard on yourself. You're saying this is something you missed, but I, I mean, I, I disagree with you, honestly. The skin, I mean, this is the, this is the spar, essentially, mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. here, right? I mean, this is, uh, that corrodes through much more. You literally have a catastrophic failure oh, yes. of that wing at I'll, that point. This because is no this, longer airworthy. No, because, no, that's not airworthy. We've got to find another wing um, or a spar, but, you know, we got Myers, uh, the guys up there mm -hmm. are looking for a wing for us. Um, but this, you know, that breaks. I mean, you're done. That's, that's, you're done. I mean, yeah. you're, you're flying a one-wing airplane. Yeah. That's it. 
And so, you know, just to find that, something like that, that's going to be something that you have to, you know, pull the wing apart um, the skin, or skin off. The skin is you know? literally touching that spar. So if, let's say, some salt, you know, we're humid, we're salty, this airplane came from Jacksonville, mm -hmm. it's got 12,000 hours in the airframe. Remember, it was my traffic airplane. Right. So flying through the salt air of Jacksonville, you get some humid salt air that sits between that spar and that skin. Mm -hmm. you, no boroscope's mm -hmm. ever going to see that. Like no. you said, until you pull the skin off. Yep. Would you see something like that? Because honestly, if you look behind it at the actual, what you can see, it all looks decent. Yep, yep. And how long How long was the aircraft in Jacksonville, you think? As long as I've known it. Yeah. I mean, so 15 years, maybe I, I could ask Joel, maybe more. I'm sure Joel always comments on these videos, mm -hmm. Joel's who we bought it from. Yeah. Uh, he could comment on this as well, but that's, I mean, that's serious, serious stuff here. Yeah. It's that, scary because you don't know what's on, on the inside. And uh, that's something that, you know, you really want to start looking for. And I mean, now, I mean, this has changed my point of view as far as what I'm looking for. It's going to be something more of, you know, we're doing the 150. So now it's like, I'm going to go back and start pulling some things off the skins off to see, make sure everything is good with the 150. Yes. Because it came from Jacksonville. Yes. So I have this habit of buying airplanes from Jacksonville. <laughs> I apologize. Maybe, maybe we have to start going north yeah, sometime. Yeah, I'm you know? thinking Arizona is where yeah, I'm going to buying go. airplanes. There we go. <laughs> let's, stick, um, let's stick with the corrosion theme here. Again, still looking at the wing. The fuel tank is in, mm -hmm. uh, in, in this video. And again, thank you to Myers for sending us all these videos. We've been so busy uh, traveling, haven't had a chance uh, to send Russ and John and the production team up there. But again now, this is probably, this is not as taken apart uh, as it previously was here. But we're kind of coming down, and now look at this corrosion here. What on mm -hmm. earth is that, and what's happening there? Some of that's surface corrosion. So um, that's easy to clean up. Just got to clean it up, but it's not really that bad. So those, that's really easy to clean up. But then again, as I was talking about earlier, you're looking through the inspection panels and if you've seen most of it, most of it, it looks like, oh, this looks really good. It's not that bad. Mm -hmm. But then you look at this, you know, and here's, here's again, that's the leading edge. Yeah. You know, and you're looking at, and it's not every, um, every bay. And so there's only, Interesting. only certain um, inspection holes that you can look through and so you're trying to look as much as you possibly can into each bay to make sure there's no um, corrosion like this. Yes. The discovery of the corrosion mm -hmm. came from where they were taking the, um, the skin apart oh, from, yeah, they, from the spars and everything. They would have never seen it. I mean, no, like you said, no. some surface corrosion, we take care of that in annual. Yes, yes. But seeing the real stuff, and, and you want to talk about discovery, look at this clip uh, here too. This one, this one blew me away. What, what is sitting down there? That, that's part of our spar. Yeah, that's the spar coming apart, and it's, you know, once you take those rivets out, you start seeing it all everything. Fell. It's all falling. It's all falling apart wow. and coming down. And it's, it is, it's amazing that how much you don't really understand how much the corrosion that's in there. That, that was actually quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. So that's just from popping the skin, just on that spar, where the skin and the spar meet. Again, mm -hmm. not something you could see from an inspection. They pop those rivets, and all that corrosion fell. The... the we're getting a whole new wing now. Originally, yes. we were talking, I think last video we said, uh, we don't need a whole new wing. Yep. Upon further discovery, further inspection, and it's been going through these inspections for a month now, yeah. and they just now found this. Yeah. So if you've got a shop that has the whole airplane apart, yeah. and, and they just find it and now. And just find it now, a yeah. month later, if yeah. you work on this plane every day, it tells you how well hidden this really was, yep. yet how well hidden was a catastrophic failure like that. So let's let's put the corrosion to rest for a second we'll share some cool stuff that is happening with the plane because our 1972 airplane is going to be a 2020 airplane yeah. by the time we're done with it now. exactly right? like fresh out of wichita here brand brand spanking new yeah just about what I, I imagine there's people watching this video right now going my airplane came from florida my airplane came from virginia beach or whatever you know like what what should they be looking at now uh, we're unique we are literally lived in Jacksonville a very long time 12,000 hour airframes mm -hmm. high airframe time mm -hmm. but what could an aircraft owner that's kind of concerned that they're coastal or the plane came from the coast mm -hmm. what should they be doing here well well me personally what I'm going to end up purchasing is a borescope mm -hmm. um, and then I'm going to look in there a little bit harder longer mm -hmm. uh, than I have previously mm -hmm. previously done um, one of the things that you got we got to understand is that we, we want to catch everything, but you're not going to catch everything. Wow. Um, you definitely want to make sure that you, you know, you're trying to. And, you know, this is something that, some, like I said, there's a lot of that is surface corrosion. But the spars are just one of those things that um, you can see it. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there's certain, like I said, there's only certain places that you're going to look. And you're trying to get in there as far as you can. And your mirror is only going so far. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, okay, this looks good. Because, you know, the previous video, 
we had saw that, you know, most of it looked really, really good. I yeah. mean, you can't really tell. But, uh, you know, just one of those things that, like I said, get more scope, spend more time. You know, I, I've even, and you know yourself, you know, I had the wing uh, caps off. I know you did. You know, and I'm looking down through there and, hey, everything looked good to me. Yeah. But, you know, it's just one of those things that, you know, this is a blessing in disguise that, yeah. you know, that we actually, you know, this happened. We were, we're not happy about the aircraft being damaged, no. but this is something that, hey, this came out it of the whole thing. Out. And we're actually at the point now where we're redoing the Cessna 150 as well. And asked for us the same thing. Again, yeah. also came from Jacksonville. Hey, we're going to paint it anyways. Let's pull some of the skin against yep. that spar. Mm -hmm. We're going to re-rivet it, everything else. Let's yep. just take a peek yep. and see what we're dealing with here to prevent. So maybe when you put an airplane down for paint, which happens every you know, 10, 15 years yep. or so, it might be a good idea to pull some of that skin and yep. just have somebody take a peek. But let's talk positive now. Let's talk okay. about some cool stuff we're doing. We're moving to all uh, carbon fiber components, that being mm -hmm. the, the end caps and the... Uh, these are the elevator tips you can see here in the, yep. in the is it primer gray? I mean, yep. battleship gray yep. is what it looks like. Yep. It's pretty cool. Primer gray, yep. Yep. So we got that. You can see uh, at the, the bottom of the rudder there as well. Uh, if you look up at, uh, of course, Russ is always proud of his arrow, uh, arrow leds lights oh, and yeah. everything else. Yeah. You know, a lot of hard work and love went, <laughs> went into that. Uh, you can see at the top now. That looks cool. I'm just yeah. gonna leave it gray. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say I actually like that. That it, looks, looks really good. That is, those are M08 colors. Yeah. Blue and gray like that. It looks really, uh, really sharp with that. Yeah. We ended up reskinning uh, the uh, the entire elevator um, as well. So uh, there was a patch done mm -hmm. to the elevator. So we had to go ahead and kind of fix that. So cleaned, primed, everything else, mm -hmm. kind of all fixed. We have some images of what the elevator looked like previously. Right. Again, you said it's all surface corrosion. It looks. Right. I thought it looked kind of nasty, but again, yeah. they can clean it up nice. But either way, it didn't really matter. We're getting re right. and everything else. That looks sharp. And then I believe a picture that we may have as well is that the uh, there's corrosion in there as well. And mm -hmm. but those, this is another one where that's just like really hard to you know find in there because most elevators don't have an inspection you panel. Have one, I think. Yeah. On the, I'm trying to think back left. I yeah. Don't know which side? And it's but, like one. And it's all. And the, but the corrosion is all the way at the bottom. Yeah. And so, but the inspection panel's up kind of high. Yeah, you're right. So you're like, okay, so, you know, this is just one of those things there. that, you know, what's on the inside, you just never know. Yeah. And so, uh, like, once again, blessing in skies. I mean, now we're talking about corrosion on the wing. We're talking about corrosion on the elevator. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things that, you know, you really want to look for. But at the same time, understand that there's going to be some things going to be missed because you, you can't tell. Yeah. You know, uh, but, you know, uh, we're glad we found it. Sure, and, and this was originally being reskinned, not because of the corrosion. This is where the hail damage was. Yes, mm -hmm. it, ha it had a patch anyways. We wanted to fix from a previous repair, um, but the hail damage is why we're reskinning yep. it. And we just happened to find surface corrosion inside that, mm -hmm. like you said, could have been cleaned up. Yep. But how would you have cleaned it up without taking Clean the skin up. off? Yep. Yep. And no yeah. one really takes the skin off of an elevator. No, and, no. and not for an annual inspection or no. anything. It's turn it in, turn it out, and get it get it flying yes. again. So, just um, some. Some enlightenment, you know, to, to really, really think about. I'm not hoping we didn't scare anybody or anything like that, but we need to start getting a little bit smarter and more thorough with things. And anytime you have an opportunity to take that skin off for paint or anything like that, mm -hmm. it's a good time to take a look at that. Again, like Russ said, there's nothing you could have. I know you want to buy a boroscope and everything, yeah. but a boroscope wouldn't have saw that. No, no, no. And, and it would you know, help. It would help, but then you're still back at the same point of it's, like because it's against. Yes, yeah. it's against it. And so it's, you know, you want to be diligent and looking for these things, mm -hmm. but you still there's not you're not going to find everything. Yeah, I totally get it. So listen, I imagine you're going to have a ton of questions. Russ and myself will be monitoring the questions on YouTube, on Facebook, on m0a.com. Any questions you have. We're going to keep you in the loop on 2 3 Mike Zulu as well as 512 Romeo with its restoration as well. We have more airplanes down getting fixed up than we have flying right <laughs> yeah. now. But you know what? They're going to be yeah. beautiful. <laughs> yeah. So it is all good. Sun and fun is the goal to be showcasing uh, all these great planes again for you all. So listen, enjoy the rest of your day. And most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. It's the best one you've ever done. Uh, good I'm, job. I'm working on it. See you guys. <laughs> I wrote the Private Pilot Blueprint with the intention of, if I could do my flight training over, would I wish someone would have told me? And I want that book to be yours for free. All I ask is that you pay shipping. 
Visit privatepilotblueprint.com to get your free copy.